to the homemaker's guide, the forgotten files. Let me ask you a question. How often do you clean your vacuum? Not clean with your vacuum, but actually clean your vacuum. If I'm being honest, it's not very often for me. And when I show you the details, the filthy details of my vacuum cleaner, you're gonna say, yeah, that's not really a big surprise. For this series, The Homemaker's Guide, The Forgotten Files, I thought it would be fun to do a video once or twice a month covering things that we probably often forget when it comes to homemaking. I know there's several chores that I usually put off or I just don't think to do them. And the vacuum cleaner is one of those things. I use it regularly, but I don't really take the time to stop and clean it. And you're going to see that it was in dire need of some TLC. I should probably put a disclaimer here and warn you what you're about to see. A lot of hair. <laughs> And there is tinsel from Christmas and yarn and thread and I really don't know what else but there was a lot of buildup around the brush of my vacuum cleaner every vacuum is different so you may want to look up the guide for your specific type mine is a Dyson DC 33 so I'm going to remove all the parts that I can and I'm going to wash them in warm soapy water and then I'll lay them out on a big old towel and let them thoroughly dry. I have this book, Woman's Home Companion, the Household Book, and I was reading through it and there is a section about vacuum cleaners and I thought I would share a little piece with you. It says that two or three times a month, the revolving cylinder and brushes in a motor-driven brush cleaner should be removed and rid of all accumulated hairs and threads. It is also a good idea to dust the body of the cleaner every time it is used. For dust lodged in crevices will impair the function of the cleaner. If vacuum cleaner attachments are kept clean and in good repair and are used for the many purposes which they are designed, light and thorough work can be made of cleaning such surfaces as upholstery, draperies, wall, and woodwork. Treat the electric cord gently and take care to cover any worn spots with friction tape. The wise housewife will re replace the cord before it becomes ragged and worn for in that condition it is a fire hazard and a source of danger a cord should never be jerked roughly nor pulled against the plug and the motor switch should always be turned off before pulling out the plug given proper care throughout the year and perhaps an annual checkup by a professional a vacuum cleaner will be the most useful servant of all household tools. I just thought I would share that little bit with you. It's interesting to see how things were took care of and maintained back in the 1950s. Vacuum cleaners have changed a lot through the years. Generally today, it is suggested that you clean your vacuum every three to six months. Now it's obvious, even going by the six month rule, that I'm long overdue to clean my vacuum. It has probably been about eight, maybe nine months since I've cleaned my vacuum. And I know that's been a long time, but we're all friends here. 
so it's okay. It's okay to be honest. I was way past due. So I'm curious, how long has it been since you've cleaned your vacuum? Do you fall within the recommended guidelines? Or are you a rebel like me? And is the task of cleaning a vacuum fun? Or do you think it's kind of tedious and boring? I am not a fan of it. The dust gets everywhere. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, if you cleaned it more often, it wouldn't be so dusty. And that is true. Once everything is cleaned and washed, you want to let it dry at least 24 hours. You want everything to be bone dry before you put it back together. You don't want any moisture to get into the motor of your vacuum. So if you need to vacuum for the day, make sure you do it before you start cleaning your vacuum because it will be out of order until everything is dry. And if you live somewhere where it's sunny, put everything outside and let it dry in the sunshine. Unfortunately, where I live, it's doing nothing but raining every single day for the next week. So that's not an option for me. Well, friends, I thank you for watching this video. And I hope you like this idea of the forgotten files. If you do, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.